Hi right, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here yeah, I have a Goku, this is um, Goku SMD workstation. I want to show you guys how to install and to. I also want to show you guys the review. The review on it. Here's the owner's manual. So as you can see. Here is the new the workstation I just bought. This is two in one. It's two in one the workstation. So here's the owner's manual. So here's the nozzle. Have the nozzle. This is the order. This is the order for the um, what's it called now? The order for the sodium ion. This is the order for the hot comb. Here's the heat pump. Here's the heat pump. So let me just set it set it aside. Here's the heat pump. And now, here's the main power station. So as you can see, it's brand new. It's brand new. This is the Coco Eight. It's one D, okay. It's one D. So this is the order for the for the heat gun. The order for the heat gun. So let's like this. Okay. So let's like this. So look at it. This first in uh, output. Here is for the rework station. I mean sorry, here is for the sodium ion. This first one is for the sodium ion. Here is the control, the knob, control knob for the sodium ion. This one is for the heat gun. Here is the temperature control. Here is for the air. The air control. Control the air also known as the fan, the fan speed. Here is for the temperature control. Okay. So let's connect and test it. Please guys don't don't mind the sound in the background. It's coming from the generator. We want to test it now. You can see it's on. Here's the temperature control. The maximum temperature is 450. You high and you low it. Okay. Here is the control for the air, and here is for the sodium ion. Okay. Switch it off. Okay, guys. So let me show you how to make the connection. As I earlier said, this is the order for the uh, heat gun. So to fix it, it can be fixed. You can attach it to this side. So here is the screws. You have to use it. Let me unscrew. You can see it's firm, firmly fixed. Okay. So here is the heat gun to be attached this way. Okay. So here is the nozzle. I have the three nozzles, the small, the medium, and the big. So it will be fixed. I fix the nozzle like this. Then then you twist it. Okay. And the nozzle. Okay. 
Here's the sojourner. Okay. This one is for the older. Put it this way. Okay. Put that like this. So, as I said, I said the first. This first one is placed for the, the workstation, which is the eighth one. It is fixed. This arrow to be fixed upward. This arrow is facing upwards. You insert it and push it in. Then you screw it in. Okay. Then that of the sodium, the arrow will also face upwards. Then you screw it in. Okay. So this first switch, this switch is for the temperature control. This is the first switch for the temperature. Then there is for the is for the hot gun. Okay. So yeah, let's test the sodium. It's already on. You can see it's beeping already. You can increase the temperature to 400. Let's increase it to 400 degrees C. Okay. So we'll test it now. Okay, so already, it's getting warm already, guys. Okay, getting warm already. Okay. So let's wait for a few minutes. Confirm. Just wait a bit. So you can set it to your desired temperature. Because here we have 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, and so on. So set it. So guys, you can see it. You can see it. Right. This one is working perfectly well. I see it's working. So when you are done, you switch it off. Mind you, you don't use the two at the same time. You only use one at a time. You get when you are using the soldering iron, when you are using soldering iron, you make sure you turn off the heat gun. You make sure you turn off the heat gun. So also when you are using the heat gun, you make sure you turn off the soldering iron you get so it's vice versa so now for the rework station which is the heat gun here is it okay when you switch it on it's already on now you can see you can see from the sound of my generator you have seen you can see that it's already on now okay it's very hot now very very hot okay i don't know if you can see the flame it's very hot now okay very hot. I, I will need to off it now because of my generator. Okay, guys. Okay, you can see it now. You see, it, it's working now. Okay, so I will reduce it, reduce the temperature. You can see. If I increase the temperature, you can see the generator sound has changed. So I will reduce it. Okay, reduce the fan also. Okay, so thank you guys, and God bless you. And also, I want to tell you guys, there's something about it. Hmm? You can see the temperature. You can see the temperature is fluctuating. You can see the temperature is fluctuating. It has a sensor. This heat gun has a sensor. It's embedded inside. You get embedded inside. So look at it. Immediately, immediately you drop it. It will start to, to drop, okay? You understand? It has a sensor inside. That's a sensor. If you pick it, when you drop it, it will start to, to reduce. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it when you drop it. So it has a sensor. If you pick it up, look at it. If you take it, it will start. It will start. But immediately you drop it, it will off. So it has a sensor inside. You understand, Abi? It is a safety sensor. In case it's a safe, it is a safety sensor. So if you raise it, it will pick. You can see it. But if you drop it, it will shut down. You can see it. So thank you guys. God bless you. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and God bless you.
So guys, here is the review for the Goku H11D. Okay. So please, also here is the manual. So you can take a look at the manual. Hmm? Make sure you read the owner's manual before operation. Okay. So here is the owner's manual. So guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share. Okay. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share. So also click on the notification bell for more videos from me. Okay. So please, I've been absent for some time now. So starting from today, I'll start dropping videos back to back. Back to back. So as you can see, I'm fully ready to work now. Okay. Here's my here's my uh, microscope that I placed the video the other time. Okay, here's my microscope. Here's my the workstation, the former one that served me very very well. It's still working, although it's still working. Mm? So I just upgraded to this one. Okay. So guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos, subscribe, like my videos, and also click on the notification bell for upcoming videos. God bless you.